The world of man has fallen into ruins. Everyone that was once alive now lies in their grave. Return to the earth that they were born of. You return to your old apartment one last time. In search of a sickened raven, you must speak to him and discover why such a calamity has spread across the world. Welcome to My Friend is a Raven. This was made by the same person who made, as you can see in the corner down there, Choo Choo Charles. Um, and apparently Snake Game too. I didn't realize that that was also made by him. So that's a bit humorous. Anyways, this shouldn't be too long, so I might as well just start. And we'll see what this is all about. From the ground of the earth, humanity was conceived, and into the soil the ill spirit shall return. I fear that the city will soon fall, says Luton. And also, for some reason, can't see it, but VR, Steam VR has decided to load up for some reason. I don't know why. I lament, for I have cherished this home. It's looking quite overgrown in the back. One last time, I shall look upon these walls before I speak to the raven. I must find some food to coax him to me. Alright, sounds good. Almost looks like he has a Plague Doctor mask on. Getting some Little Nightmares 2 vibes from that TV. Oh, Pals of Seeds, that would check out. So I go through here. I wonder if I could go through the other door. Do I just, like, leave? That would be, I suppose, anticlimactic a bit, but... If there was anything left inside, it would be very unsafe to consume. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Everything in this kitchen spoiled instantly. Oh, interesting. Instantaneous spoiling, that's... Hmm. I thought this rat trap to be unusable, but I believe it may still function properly. Are we catching a rat? Hmm. To what end, I wonder? Trying to catch the bird? That wouldn't seem right. He's my friend. Oh, well, I'm not entirely certain why we've done this. Maybe for the bird? Small piece of paper that reads, In the face of the noon shadows, you rejected my plea. How I do hope you haven't forgotten. Well, I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure I'll find out. The raven may come if I show myself atop the balcony. Yeah? I like the art style, though. And there's the seeds. And there's a raven. Good day, dear raven. Good day, sir. I cannot help myself from noticing a delicacy in your hand. So the raven actually does speak. How about that? May I ask you what a lone soul might be doing, perched upon a building, holding a bag of seeds? Do I not know you, and you know me? I thought we met before. These seeds belong to you now, good raven. Take them, and in return I wish to speak to you of your destructive manner. Oh, maybe we haven't met before. I accept your offer with vigor, but I would hardly consider myself destructive. I do not view you with the authority to tell such lies. It could just be an opinion. Your kind have descended upon the earth and spread a mortal plague among its people. The ravens have. Oh, okay. Not not usual plague bearers, but I'll roll with it. We have left our homes barren and our cities in ruins. Not a single person lives to share my grief. Poor little man. I could grieve with you. I could comfort you. I could be your friend and sit upon your shoulder when you become torn, but only if you have a gift to give a sympathetic raven. Indeed, dear raven, I have something that might interest you. A dead rat. Called it. Not like I could have given him anything else. I am surprised at your change of heart. But I shall gladly take your gift. 
we may discover some similarities between ourselves. I find it possible. You have even grown a sort of beak since I last saw you. Oh, so we have seen him before. Okay. You could be one of us, lad. I hope we might resolve what differences we have. I believe we shall, for I will be your friend and keep you from crumbling into the soil of the earth. How so? I thank you. Then let us go. There is so much to show you, my friend. Dramatic pan to the sunset. Or sunrise, I'm not sure which. I have turned into a bird. Okay. Unless that was just another bird that just happened to randomly be flying by. Ending two out of four, huh? Um... So the question is, how would I get the other three endings? Maybe if I don't have the rat, don't have the seeds, and can I walk out this door? Perhaps? Let's see if I can walk out this door. It is locked. Um, I suppose I could grab that. Oh, I didn't even notice that last time. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, enough. Oh, there's a lot more to this place than I thought there was. What is this? A small vat of ink. Before the newspapers stopped printing, some articles described people poisoning each other using this. Oh. Oh. Wait. Can I pick it up? Oh. For a moment I thought one of the things would be to poison the bird, but I guess not. Alright, never mind. This does not sound good. Oh. What is this? A needle. Oh, I wonder if maybe. It has been some time since these water lines have worked. Uh, it certainly sounds like it, and I imagine it would smell like it. So can I use a needle here? Hmm, I can't seem to. Why have I picked up this needle? Is there a way to interact with it? Tab, maybe? Um, okay. Well, I got the needle. I'm not sure what to do with it, but I've got it. Okay, so I came that way. Oh, I can look at... The, oh. Um, I guess midnight? Sudden loudness. Sir, I am sickened and in need of aid. Oh, this is perhaps a flashback. Would you spare the time to help an ill soul? If you are sickened, be gone. I want nothing to do with your pathetic plea. Harsh. Save yourself the effort of disrupting a human. Thought we were supposed to be friends. Oh, what a beautiful vista. Didn't even notice. Man, I didn't I missed so much. What are this? How greatly I wish my family could visit me during this time. I imagine they're no longer alive. Oh, can I sit down? I recall many occasions when my friends and I would sit and visit all night long. Ah. What happy memories we made. Indeed. Well, I can't look at the screen. Can't look at that. Guess I will go through here then. And try to look out for a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, I don't want to set that. Crap, crap, crap. Wait. I can set it, but I don't need to use it. A large pile of feathers. I'm quite unsure how the birds got inside to leave such a mess. Hmm, yeah. The shells are completely barren. Okay, nothing there then. What about that? Is that something? To... Nope. Well, sorry, rat. Um, I shan't be picking you up. Oh. Oh, that's what that refers to. Alright, well, I guess let's go out here and see what happens. Oh, 
Oh, so we're speaking of the past meeting now. But I wouldn't consider there much to discuss. I asked you for aid, and you rejected me. Indeed, and I have no words to describe my regret. The only reason you regret anything is because of the punishment I have brought upon you. Oh, truly, Raven, I have learned the error of my ways. I was only to plead for your forgiveness. However, I do not have the rat, so... That might not turn out well. Why should I grant you anything more than dirt? You left me ill, and in the same way I shall leave you. Hmm, fair enough. So, okay, maybe now I go... Ah, maybe now I go take the needle. Or I could try... No, I guess I'll... I could go that way. Let me see if I can exit this. Oh! Well, not what I was trying to do, but I guess that'll work. I suppose I succumb to the illness then. Oh, passive ending. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so I got two of four, three of four. Um, so I guess one's probably going to be forgiven. Surely one has to be with the, uh... Surely you think one would have to deal with the needle and the ink, but... Okay, grab the seeds. And grab this, set this to... Noon, I guess. Grab the rat this time. So I can make it an offering of sorts. Or a gift, I suppose. Not sure what you're using for bait, though. And see if this changes anything. I feel like it would, because I feel like there should be a way to get forgiven, I'd imagine. Yeah, he doesn't want to discuss. So, can I give you something? I wish only to plead for your forgiveness. I think I said that last time. Okay, hmm. Okay, so that didn't change anything. So now instead of going to the couch, what if I went this way? The, I think, what is it, a syringe is somewhere in here? Needle, rather. What do I mean? It's, it's on a syringe, so. When I speak to the raven, he may demand that I give him the rat. Oh, I could use the ink and needle to poison the rodent. Oh, okay, so I was right before, I just needed the rat. Um, however, I think I might have to do this again. Hmm. I still have to wonder what the first ending is. Because I got two. Oh, well, I guess it would be the siege, but no... Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Can I walk up with this? I cannot. Okay. Can I look at anything real quick? No. Okay. Well, back to the uh, couch I go, I guess. Yeah, probably one with the siege, but no rat. And not looking at the... Not looking at the clock. It, it, it seems remembering the past encounter with the raven basically locks you into that one ending, so... Alright, so I would go over here then. Not look at that. Go in here... Well, open that first. Open this. Grab that. And then, of course, do what I did last time. This ink is poisonous. When I speak to the raven, he may demand that I give him the rat. I could use ink and needle to poison the rodent. Well, if I recall correctly, he didn't actually demand it. You just like, you got something better for me? I mean, I guess that was kind of a demand, but... I guess you could phrase it that way. Not necessarily to serve, but... Let's get this going. And... But I gladly take your gift. Does it fit your exquisite taste? Quite closely, but I find it slightly bitter. Probably because of the ink. Still, I thank you for the gift. 
You are very welcome, dear Raven. I believe we may find some common ground upon our past. I feel you truly have changed, friend. Nope. Dear Raven, is something amiss? That's some scary text right there. Human, what have you done? Why, Raven, I do not know what you speak of. Yes, you do. I thought you had changed. I have not. You are nothing but an actor, just like the rest of your kind. I would think a plague like this would make a man more sympathetic. Yet still, you have no hesitancy to bring a creature down into the soil of the earth. Nope, apparently not. The world will soon be yours, but I refuse to give you the pleasure of watching me perish. There he goes. Venomous, yeah? The aggressive ending? You're not wrong. Alright, I guess it's just the seeds this time. I wonder how literally everything here is supposed to be taken. You become torn, but only if you have a gift. Become torn. When I'm dead and being eaten by scavengers and whatnot, I have no gift other than your seeds. Pathetic. Oof. Even now, you have no heart to help another being. Do you truly pity yourself as the last human alive? You should be happy you'll never encounter another man like yourself. I have no tolerance for your antagonism, Raven. Do you believe that will give you dominance over me? I have power over you, human, in masses that you cannot fathom. Look at your city. I will do the same to you. Please, Raven, I must know why you have chosen such a path as this. If you do not know by now, your blindness shall serve you a deserving platter. I have a, I have a thought on why. Extinction. Bad ending. Fair enough. And that was my friend, the Raven. Ah, uh, now there are three kind of interpretations I'm puzzling over with this. There's the most literal, literal one, which is that Everything you see happening is as it is, uh, which mostly checks out, although the raven speaks. The raven clearly has the ability to cause a plague, so that would suggest that the raven is not the ordinary raven, shall we say. It's perhaps something more taking the form of a raven. Although it was, it did previously encounter the guy, so, and it was ill, which would lead to the second kind of interpretation, which is it's more metaphorical. In a sense, which is probably the most likely, but I'm not... Or actually, no. No, I think a third option is that it's more of a, um... I guess a fable of sorts, actually. Kind of like Aesop's fable. Insofar as it's not meant to... It's not meant to be a portrayal of events so much as it's to teach a lesson, which would would stack up. Because it's the, you get the first ending with the extinction, where you just grab the seeds. And then you have the raven be terrifying. Which you would see the raven being terrifying first before you saw yourself being terrifying, which I did not because I happened to grab the rat. You do that, and then the second one, I guess the second one ending was probably forgiven. I'll have to go back and look at that. Where you turn into a bird, so that's a bit odd there. If it, everything were to be taken literally, that would mean there's some, there's something, not, what would be the word? I guess it's not quite mundane going on. It's not quite the most mundane of worlds as it is. Not just an ordinary raven. And it is interesting that ravens were chosen to be present, or the raven was chosen to be presented as a plague bearer. And that even the raven was presented as being a friend to begin with. Because neither, neither, well, I say neither, Lutum uh, was not particularly the most kind person to begin with. Or indeed for three out of the four endings, really. 
So perhaps, so if you were to take things literally, you could compare the raven to perhaps like a fae or something, a fairy or a troll. It does fit along those lines, although you never really see, at least that I, or at least I can't recall any stories where a fairy or something takes quite, um, quite such wide reaching consequences for one person. Although then again, Aurora from the original Sleeping Beauty uh, fairy tale, the entire kingdom does get cursed, so that checks out. Maybe this is probably this is more like a uh, modernish fairy tale. But that's that's just that's just me rambling and amusing to myself. So I'll leave you all off with that. Hope you found this interesting. Regardless, it's a uh, it's free and it's uh, not too long. It's on Steam as well as uh, itch.io, so or itch.io, I suppose. And yeah, go ahead and check it out if you feel like it.